taking a lot longer for jobless americans to get back to work these days. as of august, the average length of unemployment was six months. the labor department says that's double what it was a year ago. and a growing number of americans are having an even longer series of furloughs. as diane easterbrook of the nightly business report chicago bureau found, many of the workers are facing the added stress of possibly losing their health care benefits. Right now, there's 101 plans, as you can see, so this takes a lot of due diligence. Barbara Tomczak is navigating through a myriad of health care plans on the Internet. So, for example, at $201, I'm going to have a deductible of $5,000, a coinsurance of 30 percent. The jobless human resources manager needs to buy health insurance because the benefits she's been getting through COBRA end in a few weeks. While some options are affordable, Tom Zach says they aren't as comprehensive as the $400 a month plan she's been getting through her previous employer. And it appears that for the single coverage, if I continue in the same plan options, I'm going to be paying between Oh, 425 to about 600 a month. Is that cost prohibitive for somebody like you? Yes, at this time it is. As U.S. businesses continue to shed jobs, many displaced workers are finding their furloughs stretching beyond a year, putting their health care coverage at risk. COBRA lets furloughed workers continue company-sponsored plans at the workers' expense, but only for 18 months. Going without coverage for a couple of months really shouldn't hurt someone's chances of getting health insurance at a new employer. But being uninsured beyond two months can cause problems. Karen Frost heads up the health care outsourcing practice for benefits consultant Hewitt Associates. She says employers can deny coverage for up to a year if a new employee has a pre-existing medical condition. If you had cancer, they're going to undoubtedly exclude that cancer coverage for that one year period. After you pass that period, then you would have treat you, you could get treatment under the plan for that coverage. Anthony Lasasso is a health policy professor at the University of Illinois Chicago. He fears if unemployment keeps rising, more workers will choose other necessities over health insurance. You skip enough mortgage payments, you lose the roof over your head. Um, you know you can you you can you can get cheaper food. Um, but ultimately something may have to give and health insurance could be one of those things. Lasasso says uninsured consumers ultimately drive up health care costs for everyone. Barbara Tomczak knows that and says she'll get coverage regardless of the cost. You never know what's going to happen to you and if you're without insurance, you could lose everything that you've worked for. Diane Estabrook, Nightly Business Report, Palatine, Illinois.